Hello, and welcome to Entrepreneurship and Pharmacy. As many of you know who I am, my name is Dr. Rob Mayer, and I have been a pharmacist for almost 30 years. I've had the opportunity of working in two family-owned pharmacies, including my own family. I've also been able to be uh, a part owner and manager of a small chain pharmacy with a long-term care division, which I managed for over six years. And I've had the experiences of working in various other settings, such as hospital and other specialty types of pharmacy. And this is the first week of our course. And what I hope to do is to give you a brief introduction of how the course is going to run. And then you are going to watch a couple other videos and work on reflective exercise for this week. So let us begin. We always begin this course of defining what is an entrepreneur. And as you'll watch in the other video, you'll find many definitions exist of what is an entrepreneur. I always like to start out with two great quotes that have stuck with me the majority of my life, but coming from two different aspects. One, is President Woodrow Wilson, and he quotes, We grow great by dreams. All big men are dreamers. They see things in the soft haze of a spring day or in the red fire of a long winter's evening. Some of us let these great dreams die, but others nourish and protect them, nourish them through bad days till they bring them to the sunshine and light, which comes always to those who sincerely hope that their dreams will come true. I'd like to start out with this quote because one of the things you're going to be exploring this semester is, am I an entrepreneur? Do I have ideas and visions that I see of a future pharmacy business that I would start, own, or maybe acquire and redefine a current active business? You may not, when you graduate right away, have the funding ability to start that business right away. But I'm hoping that we can light the fire within you to keep that passion of wanting to be an entrepreneur continue. And hopefully you start establishing maybe a five year or even shorter plan of how I can get to that dream. The other quote I like to uh, reflect on is from the late Steve, Steve Jobs, one of the co-owners and founders of Apple. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. All entrepreneurs have to take out those voices. Yes, you can be very successful and very happy working for someone else. But most of the time, what entrepreneurs do is they seek to either work with other entrepreneurs that allow them to express their dreams, to fulfill them. And hopefully this semester, and if you continue on to the next part of the concentration, you'll look at that. The video that you'll watch on the introduction to entrepreneurship, there's a little bit of an editing at the beginning of it, so, so please bear with it when you watch it. But the essence of it is very important because what I will go through in that video is discussing what is that entrepreneur. But I'm going to talk a little bit about it here, and you'll hear some of it repeated in the other lecture. There are many definitions of what an entrepreneur is. They're initiative taking. They don't wait for others. Many business ideas, you can't sit back and wait. There are opportunities. Even as we are slowly coming out of this pandemic, pandemic that has occurred and has shut down, halted, and unfortunately put some businesses out of business over the last couple of years, there are those who have become creative, re-looking at how can we do things differently. I know even in the current organizations 
that I have the privilege to be part of, we've seen that transformation over the last year and a half. Entrepreneurship is also the organizing and reorganizing of social and economic mechanisms to turn resources and situations to practical account. As I just said, we are witnessing some great entrepreneur ventures occurring even as we are trying to make it through this pandemic. Entrepreneurs are not afraid of failure. Nobody likes to fail, but we learn from our failures. What do we do when we fall down? We get back up. Many famous entrepreneurs did not quit. I quoted in the previous slide, the late Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was always trying to push what computers and technology should be. Steve Jobs even pushed it so far that his own company ousted him and it would take years until he would come back in the late 90s and bring Apple to what it is today. Walt Disney was went bankrupt before he became successful and almost went bankrupt again when he was trying to make his four, first full uh, long feature film, um, Snow White. Walt Disney was fired from his first job at a newspaper because they told him he didn't have creative ideas. Entrepreneurs, you possibly can fail. But one of the goals of this course is to give you the tools and to walk you through to prevent you from that failure. There is another entrepreneur definition, which is the businessman definition. And there's a two-sided point of view, depending upon who's looking at it. The business definition, an entrepreneur appears as a threat, an aggressive competitor. Many people fear entrepreneurs because there are entrepreneurs that are very good, and there's entrepreneurs that sometimes get greedy. But there's also entrepreneurs that are willing to push the envelope when maybe people in society aren't ready for it. But entrepreneurs also are the ones who introduce us to new things we may not have think we needed. Think about your smartphone. Did you think, or at least I didn't in my lifetime, think that I'd be carrying around a computer more powerful than any computer that I used when I was in school or college in the 80s and early 90s? Another definition of an entrepreneur as a businessman is an ally a source of supply, a customer, someone who creates wealth for others, as well as finds better ways to utilize resources, reduce waste, and produce jobs others are glad to get. You hear the term businessman in, in 2021, that's probably not appropriate because many entrepreneurs come from all walks of life. They come from those who can't, had money to those who didn't have money. It comes from all sexes, male, female. Many female entrepreneurs are super successful today. It comes from minorities. We need entrepreneurs to keep what, you know, people may call the American dream. But entrepreneurs are successful all across the world. As you go into the next video on the introduction to entrepreneur, this is where it'll begin. It'll go into the definition of an entrepreneur from economist. But I wanted to open up before we go over the syllabus to give you an idea of what an entrepreneur is. So this fall semester is the first course, Entrepreneurship and Pharmacy, of the concentration. Now you may decide you don't want to continue on, but I will have two individual Zoom meetings explaining to you what is the next chapter in the entrepreneurship concentration for next semester. But this semester is a way for anybody wanting to take this elective to explore, to learn what it takes to be an entrepreneur and whether or not I have the ability to be that person. So as I said, this is an online course lectures. They will be taped ahead of time. We will post them on Saturdays unless there is some type of 
uh, conflict or consequence, but you will see these videos appear on Saturdays and any assignments will be due either the following Saturday or where if I think you need more time, I will give you that time. We will be scheduling two individual live meetings and I'll work with your schedule to have that Zoom meeting. Um, since we are on campus now, if you'd like to meet on campus, I can possibly also do that. And we will be doing a live group uh, presentation, most likely being Zoom in the last week of the semester. So what is entrepreneurship and pharmacy? What is this course? This course is one of the required courses if you want to complete the entrepreneur pharmacy concentration. Its primary goal is to allow you, the student, to explore the ideas, do I have that entrepreneur spirit and skills to possibly start my own business in the near future? This course goes into detail what is needed to be an entrepreneur in pharmacy today, from learning the skills of business planning to the, what are the requirements for starting a new business, strategic planning, operation management, human resources, how do I get funding to start a new business, and understanding financials. Furthermore, this course reviews the mistakes that can occur in starting your own business, along with exploring the idea that a pharmacy business does not necessarily have to be a traditional pharmacy. We will use traditional pharmacy as our baseline um, to teach a lot of the different principles about owning a business. But, once again, it is not a requirement that that is what you want. I've had many students over the years go through this course with great business ideas. And I've had students go on and either acquire their own pharmacy from another current pharmacy owner or start from scratch. And I'm happy to have been able to do that over these years. One of the things you'll do in the second semester is you will create your own business plan um, for your business idea. This course, as I said, will focus on the study of current non-traditional models and address the issues of how most of us are graduating as clinically trained clinicians, pharmacists, scientists, but how you of that nature can begin your own business. We'll do this by looking at case study examples, through our online lectures for you giving me exam for me giving you examples and also the various exercises we will perform as i said this course is an asynchronous online course which will consist of 12 units of taped lectures each one is a week in length you should a lot about 3 hours per week between the videos and your assignments you will expect a new unit every Saturday of the week, and the last week of the semester is when we'll be doing our live presentation. This is an elective, but like all courses, there has to be some type of evaluation. But we will be doing more of that evaluation based on discussion questions, reflective writing exercises, which will allow you to explore your inter-entrepreneur spirit. We'll have case presentations, um, the live presentation and some written presentations that you will do. Um, and there will be a financial exercise we'll be doing later in this semester so you can understand the needs of how an entrepreneur has to be able to understand finances. The topics that we will be discussing in this uh, course this semester will be next week we'll be reviewing the top mistakes of an entrepreneur. We'll be talking about the various business models and opportunities in the profession of pharmacy for a pharmacy business. You'll have time to explore niche ideas of where your pharmacy uh, business may lead you. We'll talk about strategic planning and business planning. We'll give you the what are the necessary tools you need to think about in starting a pharmacy business or any other business in general. Uh, we'll also talk about the traditional insurance side of pharmacy because a lot of times you have to understand other types of businesses that interact with pharmacy to be successful. We'll talk about the skills needed to be an operational manager.
Because being an entrepreneur, you wear many different hats, especially when you're starting up your business. And you may be the operational manager, the strategic manager, the financial manager in those early days. Finance and accounting. You'll hear me talk later in the semester. The two most important people you'll hire initially to help start your business will be a good accountant and a good lawyer. But even though they may be helping you, you need to understand what they're doing so that you can make sure they're doing what you hope you hired them for. We'll talk about the importance of cash flow, which can occur in any type of business, even if it's not product oriented, but more service oriented. Inventory management is an important one if we're in a product type of business, and we'll discuss that, but we'll also talk about how do we price non-product pharmacy services. Any good business is not successful without a good marketing plan, so we'll talk about marketing a pharmacy. We'll also discuss those key HR principles and how do I build a successful team to help me carry out my mission of my entrepreneur idea. All entrepreneurs don't start out extremely wealthy, and so you need to find funding, sometimes from traditional bank sources or sometimes from investors. And finally, our last case live presentation will be an exercise of how we can analyze a current business. Sometimes acquiring a business that is already established and building on that business is a great way to get started. And sometimes it might be the more, more financial viable way. I know many entrepreneurs who started by doing it this way and then went on to create other businesses after they acquired that business. So an overview, there'll be online tape sessions. We'll have the online chat sessions with uh, individual meetings. Um, mainly, we'll be utilizing Zoom and Blackboard. And as I said before, we'll be doing our live um, presentation. And so I did post an, a reflective exercise, and you'll see that assignment that you can upload onto Blackboard. And I'm looking for just a one to two page of what do you hope to learn from this class? And what do you think you want to, to be? Why do you think you want to be an entrepreneur? This is a way for me to get to know you a little bit better and you to get to know yourself a little bit better. So we will end here um, in this overview of the syllabus. A couple other videos that I have posted. One is a one minute video by uh, an author named George Zorick, who is a pharmacist and an entrepreneur. In fact, this is not a requirement. There is no required text. I'll provide readings. But George Zorick uh, published a book uh, a little while back that actually interviews many different pharmacy entrepreneurs. If you like to read things on Kindle or have the Kindle app on one of your devices, it's an easy purchase of $9.99. And it's a great way to listen to different other entrepreneurs and their ideas. And so, as I said, the next video will start up in the introduction for uh, pharmacy. Um, with going into the definition of what um, is an entrepreneur from an economist definition. Please watch that video, complete the readings, and also do the reflective exercise for this week. I look forward to working with all of you this semester, and good luck.